Amanda, it is great to be with you today. It's been a while since we've seen you around campus. You graduated Northeast State in 2013, and you've been doing some really exciting things since then. Tell everybody what you've been up to. Yeah, so uh, right after I graduated, I went to for my bachelor's in Middle Tennessee State University, which is right outside of Nashville. And then when I graduated with my bachelor's, I did a hop, skip and a jump all the way to Virginia. And now I'm in a tiny Southern town in Virginia. Um, I'm doing the communications for a community college here. So I kind of feel like I've gone full circle. I started at a community college and now I'm helping other people uh, get started at a community college as well, which is, it's really fulfilling. I love it here. That's really exciting for us uh, that you found the community college mission just on the other side of the border. If I remember correctly, you were a broadcast and communications um, major when you were here, and it sounds like some of that skill set has transferred over into your career. Oh, absolutely. Everything that I learned at Northeast State has been so helpful for me. Uh, moving from Northeast State to my bachelor's degree, it was just a great springboard. And then, of course, moving from there to here, it's been, um, I, I rely on what I learned at Northeast State a lot. They, that was an education that, honestly, I tell people about still today because what, um, Gary Potter was my teacher and what he did in those communication classes was really, I've never seen anyone do anything like it. He started us, uh, you know, he kind of threw us into the deep end to teach us how to swim. And I'm so grateful for that because immediately you really get the feeling for what is a public relations job? What is a communications job? And, you know, is this something you really want to do? Which at a community college level, that's when you need to be answering those questions. And the fact that he did that for us and, and it helped me really know, you know, this is the job that I want to do. I am so forever grateful for him for that. Gary Potter did have a, a commitment to his students, as do a lot of our faculty here at Northeast State. And one of the things that I want to touch on, a lot of people are faced with the decision of, do I start at a community college? Uh, do I go on to a four-year university? And, and that's, that, the answer to that is different for different individuals. But given that you had both the experience at the community college level and at the four-year university, and then you came back to work at a community college, um, what can you see as a benefit of starting your education at the community college level? Yeah, I would not do it any other way personally. For me, it was the best way to start because it gave me a kind of a stepping stone, right? So I started in high school and then I moved up just a little bit to community college and I got a feel for, you know, what are what are the career options out there? What are, you know, college classes like? And it was kind of a, you know, a it wasn't just throwing me into a, a giant pond full of fish and trying to figure things out. You know, I was able to start at a small pond and really figure out what this college experience is like and who, who am I as a college student and what am I wanting to do? And the, the best thing for me is, you know, I can figure these things out without spending a whole lot of money, right? Because I know a lot of people go straight to a four-year college. They're not really sure what they want to do. And so they spend a couple of thousand dollars in this major, and then they switch and spend a couple of thousand dollars in this major, and they may switch again. And, you know, by that time, the, the loans are adding up. But if you start at a community college, it's a much more affordable option. It allows you to kind of you know, figure yourself out a little bit without really having that, that weight on your mind of how much is this figuring out costing me, you know? Um, so I, it was the best option for me for so many reasons. I can echo that. Um, I, I went to a university right out of uh, high school because I thought along with my peers that, that I wanted that university experience. I ended up coming back to Northeast State and I think the statistics says that about 80% of college students change their major at least once. Now you're in Virginia, but one of the, advent, uh, one of the uh, advantages of, for Tennessee residents is community college here for, for students right out of high school and for uh, adults returning to college that without a degree is, is tuition free. Um, I don't know how you could beat an opportunity to come out with a two year technical degree or your first two years of a baccalaureate degree with no debt and, and really have the flexibility to, to change your major. Um, I wanna wrap up with um, some words of encouragement because I, I, think, I think we all need 
to be encouraged right now. Any decision, whether it's going back to school or a new job or some major life event, requires some encouragement. And you are certainly an outstanding alumni of Northeast State. How would you encourage our local community to, uh, to seek out opportunities, whether it be in higher education or otherwise? Yeah, one of the things that I learned at Northeast State was that the, the professors believed in me before I believed in me. And they taught me that I was so much more capable than I believed that I, I could have been, right? And I think that is true for people listening to this as well. You are so much more capable than you realize. And if you just step out and give yourself a chance to, to try it, you know, challenge yourself, get out, get out there just a little bit and realize that you have the capacity to do amazing things. Amanda, you're challenging me this morning. I feel like getting up out of my desk and going and trying something new. Um, <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm, your passion for life and education. And um, Virginia and its community college system is really lucky to have you. I hope you make your way back to Northeast State sometime soon and see all the great things are going on. Um, and it was really great to talk to you. It was great talking to you as well. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And I definitely need to get back out there and see my uh, Batman tree. I have a tree on campus that is labeled Batman. It is mine and I, I challenge you to find it. <laughs> I know exactly where that tree is and it overlooks the new technical education complex. It's got a whole new identity and it'll provide shade for students for years to come. So they didn't get rid of it. And I, I know that was probably on your mind as we saw changes on campus. Yes. Yes. So I definitely need to go find it again and see the new technical building. It's, it's fantastic. And it'll provide a lot of opportunities for our students. So uh, until we meet again, um, best of luck to you. And thanks for carving out a little bit of time for us. Absolutely. Thank you.